Meet Raj, a hardworking postdoc with a passion for research. He's got the talent, he's got the drive, everything, but there's just one problem. Nobody knows who Raj is. On paper, Raj is doing all the right things. He's submitting to conferences, presenting, he's publishing in his field regularly. But as he looks around, he feels like other postdocs are shooting ahead of him, getting on the proverbial fast track, getting invited to conferences, getting high profile collaborations. And he's even seeing PhD students shoot by him, get academic jobs while he's spinning his wheels as a postdoc. And Raj, although he's working really hard, just feels like he's kind of fading into the background and even begin to ask himself, am I just not good enough for this academic path? Hey, I'm Professor David Stuckler, and I've helped hundreds, even thousands of students in my time as a professor at Harvard, Oxford, and Cambridge get on that proverbial fast track. And really, hard work is important, but it's not enough to launch a successful academic career in this day and age. Let me continue to share with you Raj's story, because it does end with a happier message. If you're struggling to publish or just want feedback on your paper, click the link below to connect with me and let's see if you're a good fit for a fast track inner circle program. Over 93% of our students publish successfully using our system and methods. And yes, we do offer a publication guarantee. That is you show up, we stick with you until your paper is accepted. All right, back to the video. So Roger's research was solid, but it wasn't enough. He was often taking on niche, technical, a bit esoteric questions in his field that while they were publishing, they weren't cracking into top tier journals. I remember chatting with Raj and at one point after a conference, this really hit him. He heard people chatting after the conference presentation and saying, oh, well, didn't Belga and colleagues actually already do that? And Raj started to realize it dawned on him that maybe this isn't that that original after all. And this was really reinforced by submitting a few papers to journals that just got desk rejected saying, this lacks novelty or originality or what's the contribution to the field. And finally, it just dawned on Raj's very harsh realization that his work wasn't memorable and, and neither was he. Raj realized that something had to change. And so that's when he decided to take action. And in chatting directly with Raj, we helped map out a strategy to where he didn't have to wait for recognition. So often, I think researchers think, I publish a paper and then all these good things are gonna come. Instead, it's important to think of, you publish your paper and now you start cashing in on your success. And the other element that we had to work on with Raj was to really define a stream of research where he could plant the flag as a world-leading expert where he was gauging in fruitful, meaningful debates that people cared about. And so really, we forced, ask, we forced Raj to ask, you know, what makes my research matter and how can I make people care? And we connected him to the strategies that could do just that. So the first shift was instead of focusing on small incremental programs, we worked with Raj to reframe his work to tackle big, relevant questions, ones that mattered not just to a limited set of his peers, but to the entire world. A question so big that he could even explain in a way that his grandmother could understand it was relevant. No more of those uh, Thanksgiving or holiday dinners where you mention your research and the room just kind of goes silent. This was good. This was on the path to helping Raj stand out among his peers. But to do more he needed to develop the skills to communicate these ideas. And these are skills that are often not routinely taught, but they're passed on informally from mentor to mentee. And so he needed clarity and storytelling with his research to really crack into high impact journals who are wanting to appeal to a mass wide readership in the field. So he needed to learn how to turn dense data into narratives that resonated widely to kind of take, he was doing quantitative research, take the numb out of numbers and start putting human faces on the data. He also began to develop a real plan to network strategically. For a time, he thought, oh, well, networking, that's just what people in business do. But flash forward, this day and age, this is a world of entrepreneurial academics. Through networking strategically, Raj began building his second order network through building genuine connections, reaching out to senior researchers, and attempting to set up meaningful, reciprocal, collaborative opportunities. And finally, he expanded his reach 
right? Uh, a bit like me, right? Getting on social media, he was anathema to the idea of getting on social media, but got onto platforms like LinkedIn, like Twitter, like ResearchGate to multiply his impact and reach non-academic audiences with his work. And this strategy worked. I mean, look, it's, it's this transformation that doesn't happen overnight. Like any investment, you put some money in the stock market, uh, unless you're gambling, you're not going to see a payoff immediately. It's going to grow and accumulate. And that's what happened with Raj at his next conference. Rather than meet with a deafening silence and few questions, he turned heads. People asked him questions and he even got one of the funniest comments I've ever heard. Somebody after said that they wanted to do interpretive dance to his presentation. But that's because he wasn't just delivering results anymore that were technically sound and valid. Raj started to tell stories that mattered, that people could relate to. He started to discover not just that rational, cool, logical side of research, but that emotionally rich world that also needed to engage in. And it opened up other doors because Raj now, when he thinks about his conferences, it's like, well, each conference I, I go to, I'm getting invited to two more. Uh, it's almost had this explosive viral in effect. And so he's gotten invited to many more speaking engagements. That opened the door, positioning him as a thought leader to open up consulting opportunities that weren't even on the radar that enabled him to start cashing in on his success. Um, and he got opportunities to be parts of consortia to go for big grant funding that you know, for him before, even going for a big grant was a little bit of a scary prospect and daunting. But by collaborating and being a co-principal investigator, he was able to get funding that ultimately helped him write his own ticket to be choosy on the job market. So the take-home message here is like the journey doesn't end with publishing. And I think for a, a lot of researchers, that's just the goal. It's like, I'm going to deliver my evidence and I've done what I need to do. I got accepted and stop there. Raj wanted more than that. He saw that that research was a launch pad for his profile, and he took the extra steps to make sure it reached the right people, influenced real world positions, and established him as a thought and leader and a public intellectual. Raj, you know, success for him wasn't just about being seen, it was about being unforgettable. So, just to remind you, Raj's story really teaches us that hard work isn't enough. You need a research agenda and a direction that really matters. You need to have a plan and a formula for sharing that research and communicating it in a way that's going to resonate and speak to bigger conversations around the world. And you need a full strategy to optimize its own impact instead of just dropping out of publication and hoping for the best. And when you master these skills, you don't just succeed. You become irreplaceable in your field. If you're interested in learning more about optimizing your publication trajectory, if you are interested in establishing yourself as a world-leading thought, an intellectual leader, if you do feel like your career is just not taking off and getting you on that proverbial fast track where you really feel like you're flying and you want to take control of that narrative and that arc of your career story, get in touch with me. Click below to schedule a one-to-one -one free consultation. We'll identify what's been holding you back and what steps could be taken to help you get to that next level. And also join my Facebook group, 100% free. We can be in the direct chats there. We have tons of free, over 60 hours of free master classes. Uh, our goal is really to democratize higher education. Some of these informal secrets that are just passed on and were passed on to me uh, when I was uh, doing my PhD at Cambridge. I want to share that with you. Don't wait because your breakthrough is waiting there for you. See you in the next video, guys.